Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 51. And this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be talking about how to better manage your animations. And in order to do that, we're going to cover a few areas. For one, we're going to cover how to change the name of your frames and your animations. And remember, a frame is just a snapshot of your animation. And in a given snapshot, the reason that you're going to want to rename it is so that it'll be relevant to the type of objects that are, that are in that particular snapshot of your animation. And then we're going to talk a little bit about how to make all frames visible or to make every frame or snapshot in your animation visible. And then we're going to also talk about how to make every frame in your animation not only visible but also editable. So if you haven't already, go ahead and make sure you open the animation file that we've been using through the past few tutorials. And once you do that, let's go ahead and get started. So how do you rename a frame? Well, you would go to your animations frame gallery, which should already be present when you first open the animation file. And if it's not, you can go to utilities and then go to galleries and make sure that there's a checkbox by frame gallery and if there's not then you will left click on that and then that should make your animations frame gallery visible so once you get your animations frame gallery visible you would go to the first frame and in this case you would double left click on it and once you double left click on it it's going to bring up your animation properties and by default you should see that the name uh, inbox here or input box will have the title of your frame and because we have a green circle in our animation for this particular frame shot I'm gonna go ahead and give it a name that's relevant to that so I'll name it circle green and I know that it's a green well, it's kind of a greenish bluish circle, but we'll call it green, green blue, circle green blue. And that's what will represent that first snapshot of our animation. And then we hit the apply key. And assuming that you made a mistake, you would just hit the apply key. But normally you would just hit OK and it would just make those changes. But you can just follow the way I did it, hit apply and then hit close. And then you'll see that it updates that in your animation frame gallery. So let's go to frame 2. And when you left click on frame 2, you see that there's a red circle in our animation. So in this case, you would double left click on it. And you could give it the name red underscore circle. Now keep in mind, you can name this whatever you want to. You don't have to name it red circle. I'm just naming it that because there's actually a red circle in our animation for this particular snapshot. Now in this case you can just hit OK if you know you're not going to make any more changes to this field just hit OK and it would make those changes the only time that you would hit apply is if you know you're going to make some more changes possibly so I'll show you what I mean let's go to frame 3 and let's double left click on that and let's say that you made a mistake and you called it you know circle black and you hit apply and you just realize, oh, you know what? It's not supposed to be circle black. It's, I should have named that text. And so you would change it to text and then hit apply. And if you're for sure that, that you changed it to the right thing this time, you would just hit a close. But let's say that you know that you want to change this again. And this time you want to call it text tutorial. And you know that that's officially what you want to name it there is not any chance that you're going to want to make any other changes you would just hit OK and it would make those changes so you don't have to hit apply you can just hit OK and let's go to frame 4 and again we could call this red text and I can hit OK because I know I don't want to make any other changes and the nice benefit about this is that instead of you looking at frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, frame 4 you know, imagine if you had 10 frames, you would have to click through all those frames to find the specific object you're looking for. Whereas with this, you know, if you go to red circle, you're going to see a red circle in that particular snapshot. 
if you go to text tutorial you know that you're going to see the, the tutorial text Xara tutorial if you click on the first part of your animation green circle you'll see that there's a greenish blue circle in that particular snapshot of your animation but let's say that you don't want to have to click through each one of these and go to each particular snapshot you want to edit everything all at the same time without having to constantly go to your animation frame gallery well that's where the all layer all frames visible comes in handy I'm sorry it should not be layers so forgive me for saying that word again it should be all frames visible so when you left click on that it shows every frame or every snapshot of your animation at once but you'll notice if you try to click on any of these objects you can't move them If you click and drag nothing happens and the reason nothing happens is because you don't have it where it's in edit mode for all the other frames or snapshots but you can edit the existing frame shot or snapshot because that's the one that you have selected the red text so in order to edit all the other snapshots you have to click the button for editing all frames so left click on that and now you'll be able to adjust any of your snapshots all at once and this is beneficial so that you don't have to keep clicking you know between all your other frames you can just edit everything at once and position it where you want it at but when you start getting you know 10 or more snapshots this could become pretty much a tedious process so I wouldn't recommend using uh, the all frames visible and all frames editable when you have a lot of snapshots in that case that's where naming your frames will come in handy and that's why it's important to give your frames a very descriptive name so that when you come back to it at a later time you'll easily be able to find it and edit the object that you want to depending on what you've named your frame you'll know what objects are on the existing snapshot of your animation but you'll notice though that when I click through these it doesn't show just that particular snapshot and that's because we have all frames visible on and also edit all frames is on so that we can edit the changes that we want to make but if I turn off all frames visible it will only show the currently selected frame snapshot and even though we have all frames editable on we can't actually edit it because the all frames visible is not on but if we turn that back on we'll be able to see everything and we'll be able to edit everything so I hope this tutorial helps you to better understand uh, the value of naming your frames being able to turn all your frames visible on and all frames editable on when managing your animation in the XAR Web Designer 7 premium software if you have any questions you know feel free to shoot me a message on YouTube if you want to you know you can also uh, give us thumbs up subscribe to our channel and uh, you know embed our video share our video because all those things will help us to better know if we're on the right track or not so please give us some feedback it'll be especially appreciated have a great day yeah.